Hello subscribers, Original Kai HD, it's Kyle here, and I know I haven't posted a video on this channel in a really long time, it's because I've abandoned this channel, and uh, started fresh on a new channel, so, um, I kind of regret almost even having this in the background, but, because I know I have a lot of haters who follow this channel, and, like, I'm sure they're gonna go check out that channel and probably dislike my videos, what, whatever, that's pretty pathetic if you do do that. So uh, I'm just today I'm gonna show you guys how to flash custom firmware uh, light point light touch 2.0 to be exact uh, onto your Sammy MS25 or MS28 disk drive. So first of all, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a compatible SATA chipset on your computer, or you need a what I use is a X360 uh, USB Pro, or you can have the uh, the CK3 Pro power kit which has USB functionality so if you're not flashing a light on you can use that or you know it's it's not as fast or as efficient as the X360 USB Pro but it gets the job done so you're gonna need the newest version of Jungle Flash of the 1.89 beta that can be gotten in the description below so go check that out now uh, you're gonna if you're not using the X360 USB you're gonna have to enable Portio, which uh, needs to be installed on your computer, and to actually allow the unsigned driver to be used, you need to boot your computer up, press F8 before it goes to Start Windows, and select Disable Drive Signature uh, Enforcement uh, or whatever. So, yes, uh, now I have my 360 X360 USB Pro plugged in, everything. All my drivers are working and everything. So I'm gonna go over to the MTK Flash 32 tab. And first, wanna if you don't have your already your source firmware or your last dump from your drive with the DVD key in it, we're gonna I'm gonna just show you how to get that right now. But uh, oof. let me get that in a second. All right, let's start off with the cool thing about the SAM drive is uh it's actually doesn't require any much third-party hardware to actually unlock and uh, program custom firmware. So I'm gonna just hook up my X360 USB and um, my CK3 Pro. All right, make sure that shit's off so I don't fry my drive. Now this is a broken, the hardware on this drive is broken, so I'm not actually gonna be using this one. It's kind of just for a dummy test for you guys. But uh, it works and everything, it can program, but like the laser and the motor is fucked so yeah all right and I'm gonna power my CK3 Pro on and from here let's refresh the fuck all right I'm gonna refresh the uh, drive properties and as you can see everything is my drive is everything should show up right here uh, now this won't be here necessarily because um, you your, your jungle flasher hasn't actually come in contact if this is the first time you plug in this drive in with jungle flasher on and everything it wouldn't say that so we're gonna go to Sammy unlock now read this and read carefully if your drive is stock then this will work it or if you have outdated light touch firmware then this will work but if you have old i extreme firmware you will need to follow the instructions here and uh, so just go ahead through with that and it'll have two stages once it's complete it will refresh everything again and from here we can go to read now it will start to read your uh, your current firmware on your drive and once it's done it will have a pop-up all right it should give you a time of how long it took to dump mine took that many milliseconds so go ahead and put that there and from here from there we have it in here into our source so what we want to do is get the light touch plus 2.0 firmware go ahead and get that in there and uh, fuck new back <laughs> I'm just go here I put it in here I forgot but yeah if you want to let it automatically load that firmware in there just go ahead and put it in the firmware folder of jungle flasher and we're going to do spoof source to target, which changes all the DVD keys and all the driver information to the custom firmware. So when it goes to write, it will be properly input and your DVD drive key will actually match the one on your console. So it will be recognized by your Xbox. 
and from here we go to write now it'll start to erase your firmware off of your disk drive and then it'll begin writing the custom firmware on there so make sure you have your DVD key saved otherwise you are completely fucked now if you don't even have the right key you shouldn't be able to even write the firmware on here so you shouldn't even be at the stage if you didn't get your key now this is compatible with the M20 MS25 and 28 drive as they're both like basically almost identical um, so and they use the same firmware they just use SAMI um, and the cool thing about the SAM drive is it's you know it was like one of the first drives the Xbox came out with so it's like it didn't have any of the new security uh, stuff implemented like it didn't have AP25 checks uh, and XGG2 and XGG3 so of course it's basically stealth on Xbox Live because uh, a lot of the new security they implement doesn't go to these drives because they're just so outdated uh, that's why when you like it sometimes if you had a broken disk drive and you send it in you had one of these they were replaced with like a light on which had new security so This can't take using too much resources, but yeah, this is the drive to have if you still have an older working Xbox. But don't I don't recommend spoofing if you have another type of X, Xbox. Uh, this drive, if your original is not a Sammy, do not spoof to a Sammy. Uh, stay with your original drive. If your original drive is broken and, it, and it's not a Sammy, then buy the identical model on eBay or something and first extract the key from that so you can put it on a new drive. And from here. It's gonna go to you're pretty much done so go to outro and you're done everything's verified you got your custom firmware on there light touch plus 2.0 you're safe to go online even after the xdg3 and the day dot bin uh, DAE dot bin security stuff so yeah have a nice time online and continue pirating uh, for more help and stuff go to x360 xbox 360 iso.com have a nice day. I'm out. Deuces.